We've already discussed vertex covers of graphs, a link in the description to that lesson. Today we're talking about a similar topic, and that is edge covers. Let's begin with the definition. An edge cover of a graph G is a set L of edges such that every vertex of G is incident to some edge in L. So every vertex of G is covered by some edge in the edge cover. Here's a little bit more vocab. The minimum cardinality of an edge cover of G is the edge covering number of the graph, and it's denoted sometimes like this. Not always, but this is pretty common notation. Beta prime of G. An edge cover of this size, this minimum size, is of course called a minimum edge cover. So again, the common notation for the edge covering number of a graph is beta prime of the graph. You may recall that beta of the graph without the prime is common notation for the vertex covering number. All right, let's see an example of some edge covers of a graph. Here is a graph G and an example of an edge cover that we might call L1. Now, this is a pretty obvious edge cover. L1 just contains every single edge of the graph, which is almost always an edge cover. We'll talk about when it isn't in a minute. Perhaps you can think about that for yourself. Let's go over this real quick. This vertex here is indeed covered by L1 because L1 contains the edge E1. So the vertex is incident to at least one edge in the cover. Similarly, this vertex here is incident to at least one edge in the cover. It happens to be incident to three edges, actually. E1, E2, and E3. This vertex over here is covered by the edge E5. This vertex here is covered by E4, and so on. This is an edge cover of the graph. Every vertex of G is covered by some edge, maybe one, maybe more than one, in this cover L1. In this case, L1 is not a minimum edge cover. We've included every single edge of the graph, which is not necessary to cover this particular graph. Can you think of a smaller edge cover? Well, here's one. We don't actually need E3 to cover the graph because E3 covers this vertex, which is already covered by E4 and E5, and it covers this vertex, which is already covered by E1 and E2. So E3 here is totally unnecessary. This cover, L2, happens to be the smallest possible edge cover of this graph G. So this is a minimum edge cover. And since this minimum edge cover contains four edges, we could say that the edge covering number of G, written like this, beta prime of G, is is equal to 4, because that's the cardinality of a minimum edge cover of the graph. In this case, it's actually quite easy to see that this is a minimum edge cover, because for sure we need the edge E1 to cover that vertex, there's no other option. Similarly, we need E2 to cover that vertex, we need E4 to cover that vertex, and we need E5 to cover this vertex. So it's immediately apparent that all of these edges are necessary, and we see in fact they are sufficient. So this is a minimum edge cover, the edge covering number of this graph is 4. Here here are some basic facts about edge covers. We say that the vertices of a graph are covered by its edge cover. Only graphs with no isolated vertices have edge covers. So earlier I said if you just take all edges of a graph, usually that will be an edge cover. The case where it wouldn't be is if the graph has isolated vertices. If a graph has isolated vertices, you could take all of its edges, you're still not gonna be able to cover that isolated vertex. So a graph like this, for example, has no edge cover. There just is not a way to cover that isolated vertex. Now you may recall what a matching in a graph is. Link in the description to my lesson introducing that topic. A perfect matching is an edge cover with n over two edges. And this is always a minimum edge cover. That's because each edge could at most cover two new vertices that aren't covered by any other edge in your edge cover. So the most efficient possible edge cover would have n over two edges. Each edge is covering two distinct vertices, unique, 
from any other edge. And so in total, it would take n over two edges at least to cover all vertices in a graph. So if you have an edge cover with that minimum n over two edges, that will always be a minimum edge cover. Of course, not every graph has such an edge cover. And it's also called a perfect matching because each edge matches two vertices. So you have perfectly matched the vertices in a graph with this sort of edge cover. Finally, some edge covering numbers for two common families of graphs. The edge covering number of the cycle graph with n vertices is actually the same as the edge covering number of the complete graph on n vertices. They're both just n over 2 rounded up if it's not an integer, although this only holds for n at least 3. Of course, the cycle graph Cn is not defined when n is less than 3, and as far as complete graphs go, k1 does not have an edge cover, and for k2, the formula does apply. The edge covering number is 2 divided by 2, which is 1. Here's one final example with C5 and K5. Looking at the cycle graph with five vertices, again, the edge covering number is just going to be the number of vertices divided by two rounded up if that division doesn't give us an integer. So in this case, it should be five over two rounded up, which is three. And that's because it doesn't matter what edge we pick to be in our cover first. We could skip the next edge and then take this edge here. That's going to cover two new vertices. So now we've covered four vertices, but because it has an odd number of vertices, that's going to leave one vertex still needing to be covered. So we're going to need to grab an extra edge. So with three edges, we've covered the graph. It's the same for a complete graph on five vertices. All those additional edges do not allow us to cover the graph any quicker. Each edge can at most cover two vertices. So we're still going to need this edge, this edge, and one more to get that fifth vertex. Maybe we take this edge here. Doesn't really matter. But again, it takes three edges to cover this graph, K5. And that is what an edge cover is. It's just a set of edges of a graph such that every vertex of the graph is incident to some edge in the cover. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Check out my graph theory playlist for more, link in the description. And if you find these videos helpful, please consider supporting Wrath of Math on Patreon. Link in the description, it's a huge help. See you next time. I'm a secular and aesthetic for my own energy I didn't try just to be regular